everyone, I'm Becky. I'm Sarah. And we're doing Bickering Book Reviews. Today we are talking about Technically You Started It by Lana Wood Johnson, which I got off of Nick Kelly. I had a physical arc of it from... Oh, actually I got it off of Edelweiss. Sorry. <laughs> so, but you had a physical arc. I did. Okay. Um, so this book is about the relationship between Hallie and Martin, and it all started so very simple. Hallie receives a text one day from Martin Nathaniel Monroe II, and she responds, but things are starting to get a little complicated. Their simple text exchange becomes an epic conversation, and both Hallie and Mar Haley, is it Hallie or Haley? That'd be Haley, right? Yeah. And Martin begin to develop feelings for, for each other. There's just one problem. There are two Martin Nathaniel Monroe's the second. She's at, talking to the good one. <laughs> in the school. Actually, in the same class. And she's not sure which one she's talking to. But yes, and he keeps saying, well, I'm the good one. And she's like, your good one or my good one? <laughs> and so that, okay. and that, that's basically that's that's basically what the book is. So I liked this. I thought it was super cute. It and was cute. And it, it was funny. It was funny. And it's super fast to read. Like, I feel yeah. like this is that book for, like, the sixth grade or sixth or seventh grader, because there's really not that much anything inappropriate in it, mm -hmm. that come in and they're like, I have to do a book agreement assignment. I don't want to do a book assignment. And I need a book. And it takes you, it's like, it's like a book in verse. It's told all through text messages. Yes. And that's, that's the only problem is, like, I feel like the story's not as well developed because of that, and you don't get as much character development because of that. But I feel like when you go into it knowing that... I ha I've just been struck by a thought. So, yes, there is not a great amount of character development, but the voices are very strong. The voices are That's very strong. That's what it is. That's the difference. The voices are super strong, because I love... M, M, right? He goes by M. Yeah. M's voice. I love it. He's hilarious. Right. He's so funny. I like him much better than Haley. Like, Haley's just kind of mirror. But I really love his story. And, like, if there was just a book about him, I would have been, like, so happy. Right. Um, where were you going earlier? I, I totally interrupted your thought. Just, a, just, it's kind of, it's like a book in verse where it's, you're kind of just like, I mean, it's good. It's well written, but I didn't really feel anything. But I can see what you're saying. You do. You learn a lot about Martin. Through his voice. And you kind of like, he gets way more developed. Actually, now that maybe that's it, is that Haley is just kind of flat. And almost it's almost like you're observing Martin's life through Haley's eyes. Because Martin has actually, thinking about it, like an arc and a storyline and issues with his family. And Haley's just kind of like, my friends suck. Yeah, well, her friends suck, but also my friends hate, your, hate you and your friends. So right. we can't be friends. Right. It, she's very middle school. Yes. <laughs> He's yes. not. Um, the other thing, is, the other thing that was really interesting was, and he's a he. He's bisexual. Okay, I was gonna say, can we say that about him, or do we know, kind of, that that storyline doesn't matter that we give away who it is? We'll mark it as spoilers. Um. Anyway, he's bisexual, which is actually integrated very well into the storyline. It is. It's so well done because it's only a part of his identity. It's right. not. It's not a book about that part. It's just, it's part of who he is, and it's a part of his whole story, and it actually frames his life, and it it's so realistic and so well done. Well, and he also talks, like, about how he realized that, and it was just like, this is what happened to me. And I think that that's relatable for kids who's going through that. And then Hallie says, hey, Hallie, Haley? Hey, I think it's Hallie. I don't know. I'm very bad at that because some people spell it one way and say Hallie, and some people spell it the same way and say Haley. Um, so she says it's that, a hail with a Y, so Hallie. Right? Yeah, Hallie. Yeah. Um, she says that she's demisexual. Is that what? Which I had never heard this term before, and I looked it up. And then she's talking about how she doesn't become physically attracted to somebody until she's emotionally connected. And I thought that was a good thing. And I thought that was something to show, particularly teenage girls, that that's, that could be what's going on. That's an option. That if you're not, like, lusting after all the same boys that your friends are, this might be why. Yeah. And it, you know, and it's not, I don't know, it's just, it makes everything feel normal. You right. You know what I mean? Like, it's a, this is a, a normal book where... People that is part of their identity, but it's all part of a normal story arc. That it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't, I don't know. But it's also like. I don't know how to explain like, it. I don't have the words. They make everything normal. Because, like, he's having problems with his family. He has issues with his, his parents are a hot mess of crazy. <laughs> and, like, and her friends are, like, mean-girling her, basically. 
and it's all of this stuff. They're just having this conversation back and forth, and this is just, this is what you're experiencing. And it's nice for a young reader to see that because that might be what they're experiencing too, and it's like, it's just part of a conversation. It's just what happens. And that's kind of like, it does make this whole, which I didn't think of that until you said it, but that actually, it's it makes it kind of nice. Well, and like the more that we talk about this, I think it's two different books. I think that's why it didn't work. Like it didn't it, it didn't reach its fullest potential because Martin's Martin's more of a teen book and Haley is more of a a children's tween book. But when you look at it that way also because they're both like seventeen, Martin's life was more Y drama and Hallie hadn't experienced that yet. She had this very, like, sheltered. Her parents were very supportive. And then all of a sudden, like, the training wheels started to come off and she's got to experience stuff. And that she had this person to talk to. Yeah, I guess I'm getting more back with, back into, like, the, typically you're going to find the mean girl angle in a tween book as opposed to your older teen book, like, what he would be, his... Yeah, and a lot of teen books have about your friends turning on you. I know, but it felt far more tween. I think she just felt tween. I'm reading this book about this Babysitter's Club. Not the Babysitter's Club, about a Babysitter's Club. And it's, it's like, literally the same issues with the friends. And it's a J book. Yeah. We should just read it. Okay. Um, So our reading system starts at the top with five unicorns. We've gone to two unicorns. If you don't like it, it's a horse. I'm at three unicorns. I'm, like, at a three and a half. So, like, I I can't decide. I've been, like, ever since I finished this book, like, two weeks ago, I keep going on Goodreads, and I'm, like, <coughs> should I rate it at four? Or I'm going to go with a four, just because I it, it was different. And so that is where we are, and technically you started it. All right. See you around. Bye.